$100 MBA show. And today's a Q&A weekend's episode where we answer your question right here on the show. If you have a question you want to ask us, just email us at support at businessrepublic.net. As always, I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co-founder of the $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online over at 100mba.net. We got a whole bunch of free goodies. If you'd like to check them out, a free full video course on idea validation, uh, five free guides for you to download. We want to see you guys get started and start winning with your business. So check that out over at 100mba.net. Today's question comes from April and April asks, do I need an SEO expert to work on my website? SEO, of course, stands for search engine optimization. Or in other words, do I need an expert to help have my website show up as a top ranking for my key terms in search engines like Google? It's a really good question, April, because a lot of us who have businesses online get emails from SEO experts asking, hey, can we work on your site and help you with your SEO? So in today's episode, I'm going to share with you what I think, do you need an SEO expert when you're first getting started? maybe later down the line and share with you some resources that can help you better understand if you need it or not, or what SEO really is, or how you can actually do things yourself if an expert is not someone you want to work with, or maybe you want to put it off because of expenses. I'll get into all that in today's episode. So let's get down to business. Today's episode of the $100 MBA show is sponsored by SumoMe the number one tool to grow your email list and increase your website traffic. It works on any website and you can get their free forever plan. So it's absolutely free to get started. All the features you need to get started are included. We've used SumoMe for the past two years and my only regret is not using it earlier. Install SumoMe on your website right now over at sumome.com. Again, that's sumome.com. First and foremost, I have to say when it comes to SEO or search engine optimization, there's really no shortcuts. Google is highly sophisticated. They know when people are trying to cheat the system and they slap them on the wrist for it. So the only real long-term SEO strategy that I can recommend is actually producing great content. If you produce great blog posts, great videos, great podcasts on your website, whatever it is, whatever your content's on your site that is valuable, people will link to it, people will share it, And Google will recognize that and rank those pages higher in the search engines. This is what the whole thing is about. This is why Google is so popular. Their page rank algorithm is really what made them number one. So if you're getting started with your business, when I say getting started in your first year, you really just need to focus on creating great content on your website, great blog posts, great articles, great infographics or videos or podcast episodes, great content. Information that people would love to share, people that would love to put it on social media, people that would comment on it, people that will link back to it on their own websites. This is the best strategy I've seen. And this is the strategy I've used or we've used at the $100 MBA and Webinar Ninja for years now. And it works, but it's a long-term strategy because your great content takes a while to catch on and really be indexed properly in Google. But as your business grows and your content starts to become popular, bigger publications are going to hear about it and they're going to start publishing articles about you. So for example, we have an article published about the $100 MBA show in Inc. Inc. Inc.com is a huge site. So when they mention us, Google recognizes, hey, this important website that gets a lot of traffic mentioned this website, the $100 MBA, this $100 MBA must be something important. Let's move it up in the ranking. So it all starts with great content on your end, creating noteworthy things so people can take note, right? Now, it's not to say that there aren't things you can do to better your chances in ranking. A lot of that has to do with your keywords or what you're writing about, the headlines that you use, things like that. So for example, you may want to write an article about a topic that has a very low competition in the Google ranking. That might help you rank better for those keywords because the competition is low. But that's about it. That's all really SEO is about. An SEO expert can go in and take a look at your website and say, hey, I would rephrase this, I would do that. And some people who are pretty scammy might even just start commenting on other people's blogs, putting your links, spamming them, and saying, hey, I'm giving you backlinks, when really they're just ruining your reputation. Now, there are high-end SEO experts that you can hire, people that cost a lot of money. 
and they have teams of writers and they have a lot of connections with different people that can help write for you in different publications. And that could help, but it's big money. And you don't need it at the start. At the start, you need to refine your message and you need to just worry about creating great, genuine content from you with your own voice. So do you need an SEO expert to work on your website? At the start, I would say no. I would say the first year or two, just focus on having great content. Pump out a new great article or new piece on your website once a week. And within two years, you'll have over 100 pieces. I mention this all the time. There's blog posts I wrote three, four years ago that are now just getting huge traction. So just keep that in mind. Now, you might be thinking, if I'm writing blog posts, the blog posts are not really what I want people to know me for. I want them to know me for my sales page. Well, Google will rank the whole website higher if you have great content on that site. So say, for example, you have 10 blog posts that are ranked very well for those keywords about those posts, the subject of that post, and Google recognizes that. Wow, this site actually is producing really great content. The homepage of this website, whatever keywords it's all about, we're gonna give it a bump because they're helping people with great content. You see, what you have to understand is that Google's gonna reward people that help Google do their job. Google's job is really to give people what they're looking for. If you search a certain topic, Google wants to be able to give you what you're actually looking for in the search term as accurately and as fast as possible. And if you're producing great content, then you help them do that. So therefore, they're gonna reward your website for helping them do their job. I hope that makes sense. So I'm not saying that SEO experts are useless. They are very useful. But if at the start you can't afford a very high-end SEO expert that's gonna charge five or $6,000 a month, of course, you don't need to worry about it. And the other thing is that they can't really help you without content. You need to have great content first. So build that content up in your first couple of years. Guys, I got more on today's Q&A weekend's topic. But before that, let me give love to today's sponsor, Braintree. Remember the first dollar you made? It's a really special moment. But now you wanna to grow to make your billionth dollar. But have you found the right payments partner to grow with? Braintree lets you accept every way to pay from Apple Pay to PayPal to credit cards to everything in between. They even accept Bitcoin. I love it. All it takes is one integration, and it doesn't matter what currency your customers are using because Braintree lets you accept over 130 different currencies. To learn more about how your company can grow with Braintree, visit braintreepayments.com slash MBA. Check them out, braintreepayments.com slash MBA. To wrap up today's Q&A question, do I need an SEO expert to work on my website? At the start, no. You need to really just work on building your content. Publish as much great content on your website as you can in your first year or two, and it will help you in the long run. Once you have great content, an SEO expert can come in and then show you how they can tweak a thing or two to help you increase your ranking. But without good content, it's really hard. It's really hard for them to do anything. All right, I hope that helps, guys, and I hope you enjoyed Q&A weekends. Remember to tune in tomorrow for our guest teacher lesson. Tom Hunt is going to teach you how to hire your ultimate virtual assistant. Plus, he's got a little special bonus in there. Can't wait for that. Make sure you hit subscribe so you get it automatically. All right, guys, that's it for me today. But before I go, I want to leave you with this. You know, when it comes to SEO or website traffic or growing your email list or any of that kind of stuff, there are no shortcuts. There's just no shortcuts. I've tried to find them. They're not there. And if they exist, they hurt you in the long run. Just stay focused and produce great things for your audience. It allows you to grow too. It allows you to become an entrepreneur that you want to be, figure out what kind of value you want to add to your customers, and understand that this is a long-term game. And those who understand that get rewarded for the long term. All right, guys, I'll check you in tomorrow's episode, our guest teacher episode. I'll see you then. Take care.